Earlier this month, 32-year-old Kate Steinle was shot and killed in San Francisco by an undocumented immigrant named Francisco Sanchez. It was a very tragic incident that cut short the innocent life of a young woman with a very bright future. And in the wake of this incident, many are asking why Sanchez, a seven-time felon who's been deported from the United States five times since 1995, was even free to roam the streets. And the answer is, in San Francisco, what is known as a sanctuary city, law enforcement officials are prohibited from enforcing federal immigration policies, which in this case also included ignoring an Immigration and Customs Enforcement request to detain Sanchez prior to the shooting. I believe that it is hypocritical of these cities to defy federal immigration laws and then to turn around and ask for federal law enforcement grants, including grants specifically intended to help with efforts to apprehend undocumented criminals like Sanchez. It isn't right, it isn't legal, and it creates potentially dangerous situations for our citizens. And so today, the House passed legislation that blocks states and municipalities that break the law and fail to enforce federal immigration laws from receiving federal grants intended to assist them in these efforts. Certain organizations have identified at least two cities in the state of Michigan that have passed resolutions making them sanctuary cities, Detroit and Ann Arbor. And although I'm not aware of any specific incidents, if they or any other sanctuary city rely on these federal grants and if they think this penalty is too harsh, there's a very easy solution. Overturn your policies, rescind these resolutions and enforce the law. I must note that the federal government does not have clean hands in this matter as federal agencies are also releasing illegal immigrants under this administration's misguided policies. However, this bill, which stops paying states and cities contributing to the problem, is a very good start.